I call this meeting of the Senate Committee on Agriculture, Nutrition, and Forestry to order. I welcome my colleagues and the witnesses before us today as we hear about an issue I have long felt is of the utmost importance, not only to farmers, ranchers, and the agricultural value chain, but also to consumers, the American economy, and the safety of our country. Agriculture security is a broad-reaching issue. It involves many government agencies beyond the Department of Agriculture. In 1999, as chairman of the newly formed Emerging Threat Subcommittee of the Senate Armed Services Committee, I became aware of the threat our nation faced against intentionally introduced pathogens to be weaponized and aimed at destroying plant and animal population. I was invited to Obolensk, one of Russia's secret cities, back when we had access to secret cities under the Nunn-Luger program, where I saw warehouses of anthrax, foot and mouth, Newcastle disease, and African swine fever. Over the next several years, with a great deal of leadership from then K-State President Dr. John Weefall, the National Bio and Agro Defense Facility, or NBAF, uh, began to become a reality. This facility in Manhattan, Kansas, will be a critical part of keeping U.S. agriculture, our food supply, the economy, and most importantly, our people safe. Biological threats, whether naturally occurring, like the avian influenza outbreak of 2015, or intentionally introduced, could pose great harm to our food supply and the economy. The 2015 avian influenza outbreak was unprecedented, and while the USDA managed through the situation as well as it can be expected, it illuminated just how vulnerable the agriculture sector is to such an event. And it's made everyone involved begin to think about ways in which we can improve, whether that be communication or coordination or preparedness or response. There is always room to gather feedback, reassess, consider if our current approach is the best approach. Further, today's hearing is an opportunity to take stock in where we have come since the early 2000s when the issue of agriculture security was first visited and discuss where we need to go from here. The Agriculture Committee last held a hearing on this subject over a decade ago. But since that time, the significance of this issue has only grown. Today, we will commit to the record updated information regarding agriculture security. We will begin to examine any needed changes in this arena and continue work on these evolving challenges. There are several key questions for us to explore. What does risk management look like in this sector? Where are resources most appropriately directed? How should a multi-jurisdictional system best function? Before us today is an esteemed panel of experts and public servants who have dedicated much of their careers to protecting agriculture and the country from biological threats. In October, the Blue Ribbon Study uh, Panel on Biodefense released a bipartisan